Today, for the first time, the state's reparations task force hosting a conversation about remedies of compensation, rehabilitation, and restitution. This for African Americans. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol joining us from San Diego State University, where this conversation is now being held. Dana Marie, what are you finding out there? Well, uh, Netta, we do know that today is a task force hearing where they're able to share some of the findings that they've been speaking with African Americans across San Diego. Now, we did step out of the meeting uh, for just a bit, but I do want to bring you inside. Take a listen. A big thank you to all members of this task force for affirming lineage as a standard. Now, today's speakers are discussing and examining the potential appropriate remedies of compensation, rehabilitation, and restitution for African Americans with special consideration for descendants of persons enslaved in the U.S. Now, money for a reparations task force was signed into law by Governor Gavin Newsom back in September 2020. And since then, they've been working to gather data through interviews and testimonies across the state. Today, the community does have an opportunity to provide public comment and feedback on the report that would lead to presenting a bill that will eventually be submitted to the governor for hopefully enactment into law. I spoke to Chad Brown, a spokesperson for the National Assembly of American Slavery Descendants, about what the task force is hoping to accomplish. So specifically here in California, what we're asking for is direct monetary compensation. We're also asking for the task force to take up across these harm areas that they've identified bold measures such as free education, such as tax abatements, uh, land uh, allotments, land grants, uh, you know, running the entire gamut of trying to undo what has been done to our community over several centuries. Now, the meeting will be held until 5 p.m. today on San Diego State's campus at the Parma Payne Goodall Alumni Center. Again, they do open uh, this meeting to the public in order to give their own input. But it's just right next to uh, the gym here. So for any reference for those who know San Diego State, but not, not necessarily that area, uh, there's a good amount of parking for those who want to attend. Again, they invite those to the public. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you live from San Diego State.